today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for my channel. Uh, we're going to be installing one of the uh, bidet seats on the toilet. But this toilet is not an elongated bowl, so I actually bought another toilet. So first thing we're going to do is remove this toilet, put a new wax ring in, and then install the new toilet. So let me get this thing. First of all, you want to turn off your water supply, flush your toilet, get a rag out to put underneath there. Um, and then un unhook your water line and then we're going to pull the bolts out of the toilet itself and remove it so let me get this apart and i'll get back to you i just had my bathroom remodeled so all this hardware is still new um, there were no caps here because uh, it's my original toilet so the contractor didn't cut these off and put the cap on but when we put the new toilet on we're gonna have to nip these off once it's tight and then put the caps on low battery let me get you plugged in go ahead and install the new toilet um, when I was there I bought a wax ring and then I didn't realize that the toilet came with one so we have an extra but uh, just put the wax ring in there the hardware is still new like I said from the from the install on the old toilet so once I get this installed, I'll uh, screw it down and then uh, cut off the excess threads. So. Where are you? Right there. Come on. So now the wax ring is down, get your toilet straight where you want it, and then just kind of, kind of smash it down on that wax ring, like that. So now i got to put the hardware in, and then we'll start, I think we'll put the hardware in, get the toilet tightened down, and then we'll install the tank. So I'll get back there for a minute. First thing I'm going to do before I put the bowl on, or I did, is put this adapter on so the main water from the house is going to go into here and then the other hose for the bidet is going to go into here so I want to just screw that on nice and tight there I don't know if you need Teflon tape for this one but I got a metal end going on it so well it's got a rubber gasket so I should be good but I just put it on there anyways Ooh, I forgot to put that in I gotta put that in first um, so yeah, uh, take this back off, put that washer in there and then, uh, put the toilet bowl on that on. Um, I'll wait to hook up the water lines when we're done, but we're going to go ahead and hook up the mounting bracket for the bidet seat. And it's this little guy here that fits over here. And then these grommets, uh, come through the toilet. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole installation is getting this through that hole. So I'm going to pull the screws out, here. pull the screws out, I'll put them on the bottom like this, I'll put a little bit of a dish detergent on here and then pull them through. So I think we'll get a little dish detergent, I'll get right back to you. Got some dish detergent on it, if you just try to push them through, that little ball on the end there gets kind of it fattens up so you, it won't fit through so you just thread it through like that a little bit and just pull down like that take that out and then we'll do the next one for what we got to do next now they send you this little uh, this template to put over you know to kind of give you an idea of where your seats got to go so let's see so that's the base oh I see what it wants pull that down and then these fit against the bowl where they're supposed to go but I'm not even going to do it like that I'm 
going to go ahead and mount this. I'm going to mount this, but we're going to keep it loose. So where's the washer go? Got the washer. Let me look to see. I thought the washer went on top, but I don't think so. Hang on. Surprise, surprise. It doesn't show any washers in the in instructions. Got your two bolts. Got the guides. With the metal things down there. The mounting plate, which is the plastic one, and the two rubber plugs. Well, the fixed card is the uh, this piece of uh, cardboard that I'm not going to be using. Uh, because I already... I think I just, I'm just going to leave that loose. These are loose, so I can move the seat around. And the seat comes off super easy with one pin, or with one little push clip. So it goes on like this. It's got this release. Where did it go? It's got this little release button here. When you push that, it just slides right off this this catch here. So I think what I'll do is I'll put it back where I think it's gonna go. Tighten it down pretty good. So they don't move this in like that okay so now I'm gonna move it back to where the lid goes up and the seat go up I think I want to move it forward well let's see what this looks like down here yeah see that's too forward right there that's too far back there that's where I'm looking at the seat where it comes down on the bowl. I want it to hang a little bit and be flush on the end here, just like that. So now I have plenty of room to open the lid. So now all we got to do is release this button here. And the seat slides right off. So now all I got to do is tighten this where tighten this where it goes. It's nice and tight. Go ahead and reinstall the seat. Like that. So the seat is now installed. So now we got to go ahead and figure out the rest of the water. The way this goes. Oh, that's another thing. When you buy this, you have to have an outlet down by the toilet, or you're going to need an extension cord going across the room but uh, we're good there so if you see down here I have the water hooked up we're gonna put the, the main water going into the in a toilet bowl on the bottom try not to cross thread it There it goes. Jesus. Took forever. Alright. So this is the main supply to the toilet. To the bowl. And now we need to hook up this other one to the 
toilet seat. And I think I want it like this. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Get back in a second here. Just leave this all loose for now. Because this was here. This is going to go to the toilet seat right here. So we'll go ahead and hook up the toilet seat now. <clears throat> here it plugs in it's a grommet o-ring like that oops I don't know if you can see hang on yeah. see this just kind of fits in this hole like this and then you have this clip that comes with it goes around here like this so if that metal clip there holds it together and then it's got this little lock that clips in like that you just kind of push this out of the way where you want it. So now what I want to do is tighten up my connections. I think we're gonna run this like this. I'm tighten up the connections and then fill the bowl and then we will uh, look at how we get this one going. Let me read some more instructions and I'll get right back to you. I go to the store and get a new hose because this one here with the plastic end on it for some reason i couldn't get it tight enough on that fitting without it leaking so we got a new hose i got them plugged in turn the water on uh, everything is hooked up there are no leaks so i'm just going to let this fill up i'm going to flush it once make sure it flushes so okay give it a flush So everything is good there, no leaks, no leaks around the base, so the wax seal is good, so we're good as far as that's concerned. Now we got to figure out how to use the toilet. Oh, looks like there was a puppy in here messing with the toilet paper. Or a cat, I'm not quite sure which one. But anyways, let me uh, go get the instructions and take a look at what we got to do next well I got it all hooked up uh, I can't operate anything without sitting on it because it will it will shoot up in the air but I can at least do a, a few functions to show you what things do like the nozzle clean that'll bring the nozzle out so that you can clean it off if you crap all over it <laughs> but put that away it's got a uh, nightlight feature on it so you can keep that on so every time you lift up the lid Every time you lift up the lid, the uh, it'll be it'll be lit up. So that's good. You can you can control the water temperature and the dryer temperature, and then the seat temperature. It has a sensor in it for uh, the seat, uh, and then I can I can operate the the dryer because well that okay. So when you first sit on the toilet, it 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 throws a little bit of water down there. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to do. I'll look at it. I'm not going to hit the uh, posterior wash because that'll shoot us right in the eyeballs. But you can change the water pressure and the nozzle position. There's a feminine side and then a, a I don't know, it moves around. And then you have the uh, 
the dryer as that little door opens up and dries your butt off after you're done washing it. So I don't know, this is pretty cool. We'll have to give it a shot. That's it. The toilet bowl is, you know, one a gallon eight per flush, so it's you know low flow, which kind of sucks, but that's what toilets are now. And that's it. So there's the install. I'm gonna clean this all up, and then we'll uh, take it for a run. Well, I just uh, went through the paces on this thing to check it out, and it uh, it works pretty good. So I realized that. When you sit down on the toilet, why isn't this not working now? When you sit down on the toilet, you put pressure on the toilet seat. The water that's squirting out of there is kind of cold. So what it's doing right now is it's getting to the warm, because there's a holding tank on here with a heater. And it's getting to the it's, it's getting the, the water warm so that when you're done using the toilet and you hit the button um, when the nozzle comes out you won't put yourself through the roof so you can control the water temperature and the seat warmer and there's a something massage on here but I don't I hit the button it does I can't see anything I gotta look at the uh, instructions and one thing that sucks is there's a little rubber stopper down there, and it's missing on the one side. So the controller sits in here crooked. So I gotta put something in there. But no, all in all, the thing works great. Um, yeah, it's got the night light. You know, coming in here at three o'clock in the morning, the last thing you want to do is turn these lights on. You blind yourself. So having that night light in there is great. And then uh, I'm gonna clean up the wiring back here, kind of. They gave you quite a bit of it, and uh, I don't like that the water pickup is right out the side. I feel like it could be around the back or something. It's kind of not a cool design there, but the functions work good. Um, you can move uh, this thing here. When it's operating, you can move that, you know, in or out, depending on where you want it to, to squirt at you. And then it moves for 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 ladies it moves a different it moves more forward but um yeah you can change the pressure and the water temperature and all that stuff so all in all i think it's a pretty cool little unit we'll see how it lasts but i don't know with everybody buying toilet paper like crazy off the shelves i figured it's a good time to get one of these things so don't have to use that as much but that'll do it for this one so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and have a great day